The music industry is worth billions of dollars, but artists don't see most of that money. Artists actually only make about 12% of all the money that flows through the music industry. The only way that I'm ever getting out of the contract is if I break the laws of physics and move to another universe. Can Web3 technology change the power dynamics? the main way that artists make money would be from their music. I'm gonna meet a guy named Jeremy who's got a really clever idea when it comes to Web3 technology and musicians. This is such a cool space. Yeah, it's totally It feels so weird talking about future technology and we're like near some of the oldest ways of telling music stories ever. Uh, it's timeless. Okay, so you created a company called Catalog. What do you guys do? Catalog is a digital record shop. Artists earn 100% of their initial sales and fans can collect the music they love. You can almost think of catalog records as like an original painting version of a song. If you think of the Mona Lisa, there are many copies and remixes that exist. Viewing the Mona Lisa, it's not what's valuable. Owning the Mona Lisa is. Why do I keep hearing from everyone? Musicians are constantly feeling robbed. Artists actually only make about 12% of all the money that flows through the music industry. It's shocking. I mean, music has been historically devalued over the years. The internet really open Pandora's box. Everything is now free and widely available. But with NFTs, we now have a way to make these cultural artifacts scarce and valuable in addition to being free and widely, widely available. Catalog's a pretty awesome idea on paper, but I want to hear it from the perspective of an artist, somebody who's a musician, who's actually doing this every day and trying to make a living from their music. Oshi is one of many artists who have experienced both sides of the music industry. I want to find out how being on catalog and NFTs compare with his time inside the more conventional record label route. Why do you make music? To be heard, mostly. It was always my life. What was the moment where you, you quote unquote made it, where you've got all these record labels that are knocking on your door? A remix I'd done of Caliuchis. It got to 28 million plays. That must have made you some serious bank. I wish. No. Again, me being so young and, you know, naive, everybody and anybody seemed like a good opportunity. And so the first opportunity that I thought was good, I took. But there's a term in these contracts, in perpetuity throughout the universe. The only way that I'm ever getting out of the contract is if I break the laws of physics and move to another universe. How do you get out of this situation? I was stuck in it for a long, 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 long time. And the only way that I felt like I could get out of it was if I stopped making music. And so I laid low for a few years. They just forgot that I existed, which is a massive reason as to why I'm so involved in, you know, Web3 and what it's doing is because it's given me a, a new lease on my creativity. What is it about Web3 that is so exciting to a musician like you? I don't have to go through these middlemen or these, you know, shady characters taking percentages or, you know, not looking out for the best interests at heart. Nobody's telling me when or where or what. It's all up to me. And there's all of these amazing platforms that give you that control. This Web3 service say 100% of revenue goes to creators. And that's a big difference compared to the record labels. In the space of a year that I've been involved in Web3, I've made more money than I ever made whilst I was with any of these labels. Wow. How do you go about making an NFT? So it's called minting. Okay. And then you go to press a record. Oh, it's drag and drop. Drag Just and like drop. Uploading something to YouTube. Exactly. And you upload the track. It goes to the Web3 gods. Yes. How many of these NFTs are there of the song that you're putting up right now? One of one. Meaning if I have that NFT, nobody else has it. Nobody has it. It's, it's yours. And when I sell that, you earn a percentage of that. I do, yeah. And that's exactly what the creator share is. I decide how much I get of it. And what most people usually do is either 10% or 15%. The future of the music industry is exciting. And this technology, this is going places.